Getting that mason sand mixed in with a little bit of topsoil. Getting all that work done before I have to go home and do all that work. Should I say, oh yeah, it's time to do some leveling, people. So I bought a new little toy. Well, I call them toys. My wife calls them toys. It's actually a tool. And that is the, the Boxer Truck Bed Cargo Unloader from uh, Northern, the Northern Freight, I guess that's the name of the company. Anyway, uh, this says it'll do up to 2,000 pounds or roughly about a yard, a ton. And we're going to give it a test. Um, uh, the sand that I'm using is mason sand, brick sand, whatever you want to call it. But I did have them throw in a little bit of... Um, uh, organic material also just so I have not just pure sand going down because I do have some leveling but I also have some problem areas that I want to take care of so we're gonna give this uh, this little roller here a try and see how hard it is to unload it my hope is I can get a lot of it actually into my gorilla cart and uh, not make a tremendous mess doing this but also not do as much work of unloading my truck so
All right, so these are the tools of choice. You've got the big old shovel. Uh, I guess it's a, your classic scoop shovel. We've got the leveling rake. We've got the regular rake. We've got the gorilla cart. And I got a bunch, a bunch of sand uh, to level back here. So uh, I'm going to put this into a nice little uh, fast motion uh, video for you. wrap up this video um, a couple days have gone by now I believe the sand I put it down on Wednesday it's Sunday uh, so we're looking at uh, about four days about four or five days that the, the sand has been on the grass and uh, as you can see from these these photos um, I brushed it all in and um, you know it took a lot of work um, Probably a little bit more work than I was expecting. Having that leveling rake definitely helped. Um, I got that from Lowe's. Um, altogether, though, I think having um, the different tools, uh, and if you were going to do this as, um, as a homeowner, trying to save a little bit of money versus um, you know having someone come in and do it, I think I did it probably the best way possible, right? One, I had the truck unloader uh, for, for the back of my truck. And uh, that thing is honestly amazing. I mean, that was one ton of sand that I was able to um, basically roll to the tailgate and then shovel off into that gorilla cart. And honestly, it, it made um, it, that whole experience of just getting the sand out of the back of the vehicle um, pretty easy. In all, I had to climb into the back of that truck to get the sand out of it twice. Um, and that happened after I got all the sand off the unloader. I, uh, I had to climb in there uh, where the sand was kind of packed up on the tailgate and uh, I had to you know pull it down and, and shovel it out and, and sweep it out but that again was you know twice um, if I didn't have the unloader um, I would have been up and down out of the back of that truck I, I, who knows how many times for you know one ton of sand um, 
because you know you can only either you either you're gonna unload it onto the driveway and then you're gonna have to reload it in something else I was able to basically move the sand to the tailgate in some cases roll it right into the the gorilla cart um, and then when I was uh, um, had too much on each end I just shoveled it off and just dumped it right into the gorilla cart so the truck unloader uh, for 70 bucks I got mine at Northern Freight no not Northern Freight uh, Northern Tool Northern Tool Supply I, I've said Northern Freight I looked at Harbor Freight they had them but they were out of stock um, but that's a that's a great tool to have um, I would have paid a hundred dollars for it um, honestly after knowing what it is and you know for for future use um, I can go get mulch it's gonna save me money ver versus buying bags of mulch I can throw um, you know a uh, half a load or half a ton or, sorry half a yard um, in my in my truck and and know that when I get home it's gonna be pretty easy to unload it so um, if you haven't checked them out there's tons of YouTube videos um, on them I didn't go through like a whole bunch of how to build it and all that stuff um, I just uh, figured you guys could check that out but uh, there's quite a few different places you probably get them from Amazon too um, the gorilla cart so um, kudos to my wife <clears throat> we were at Lowe's probably uh, three or four months ago and they had a couple in stock and I had seen um, I think Connor Ward had them and talked highly of them I've seen quite a few different youtubers using them and so uh, she talked me into getting it I, I have a wheelbarrow and I was like I don't think it's that much better take my word it is one of the best tools that I own I use it all the time now it constantly um, is getting towed around the yard it's great for moving products I used it um, when I was building my deck and I had 16 foot 2 by 10s um, pressure treated um, I was moving four of them at a time just by putting them on there and rolling them from this uh, from the uh, front of the house to the back of the house um, but for the sand um, and leveling that's really the main reason I bought it and it it worked as advertised it um, it takes it you can put a ton in there there was no I never spilled a drop moving it from the front of the house to the back of the house um, so I can't say enough things about the gorilla card I know um, it's kind of new to me but for those of you that have had it I, I get why you guys love that tool and um, I would say it's probably one of my number one uh, gardening tools today um, so so huge uh, win for that that definitely made the job a lot easier and I mean I understand you're moving you're moving yards of dirt so it's not easy and, and having the right tools for the job um, just makes things a little bit more uh, pleasurable uh, and I do enjoy doing this work I mean it's work and at the end of the day um, you know there's a lot of um, banged up knuckles and sweat that goes into doing this stuff but the result is getting a beautiful lawn and um, I'm all for it so um, outside of that I did get uh, the scooper shovel cobalt I believe it is um, to, to scoop the sand out um, it was felt kind of flimsy when I first got it and I was a little hesitant I thought I might have to bring it back but it's so light um, and did such a great job moving sand again um, having the right tool for the job makes all the difference in the world. So if you're going to do sand, get yourself a nice big scoop shovel. The lighter the weight, I think the better. Um, it's not like you're going to, um, you know, drive that thing into the ground and bend it all up. You're literally just scooping sand from a sand pile. Um, even for, if you had to move dirt or mulch, I think it would work pretty well. Um, it's pretty sharp, so you can slide right underneath whatever the material is that you're trying to get. Um, and then I talked a little bit about the leveling rake. I believe that's a cobalt as well from uh, Lowe's. And uh, you know, it, it, to do it again, I probably would build a drag and just use my, my lawnmower, which I'll be doing it again. Um, in fact, I have some leftover sand. I'm gonna fill in some, some of the spots that I didn't get uh, completely filled in this go round. Um, but I would probably, it, the leveling rake is a must, first off. Um, I used it both ways. I used the rake side of it to kind of help you know get the the sand down into the, uh, the grass and then the leveling uh, side of it was nice to kind of see where um, those low spots were so I could pull the sand over and, and really kind of focus on those trouble areas so um, definitely uh, something that you need I would also say just a regular rake uh, was also pretty useful in some of the tighter areas that the big rake couldn't get in or the leveling rake couldn't get into so um, like I said, the tools for the job, I sh as I showcased, they, they were all um, um, super helpful and, and made 
made the process pretty easy. You know, it's a little intimidating if you've never gone to a, um, a, a land uh, scape um, place to pick up uh, dirt or rock or whatever. And, um, you know, once you get in there, uh, they know what they're doing. You tell them what you need. Um, I had a custom blend made for mine uh, where I went 70-30 on the, on the mason sand and a little bit of uh, um, organic uh, dirt. Uh, to, to the, my next time, I'm just going all sand. It's the, the organics definitely clumped up because it got a little bit damp and uh, kind of created more work um, where the leveling mason sand would have been a lot nicer just to, to rake it in because my whole point was to really more level than I was anything else. So, um, so the, the yard's looking good. Um, I'd like to get some some rain to be completely honest with you I, I we haven't got a lot of rain um, in May it's supposed to be our wettest month we have some forecasted for Tuesday so I'm hoping um, that we'll get some rain in here uh, to kind of continue to help we've had a couple little storms come through nothing major um, I did showcase in a couple areas along the fence I actually buried a lot of my um, water lines and so having that leveling sand was kind of nice because I was able to level out a lot of that area as well so um, middle of May and the yards looking great guys I, I'm uh, I'm enjoying what I'm what I'm seeing from it and uh, so far um, uh, I think I'm on track and uh, it's been pretty good I do have another video coming up I, I'm gonna be sodding uh, the front uh, area of the house I've just given up on hoping the Bermuda was gonna fill in and so I'll be using uh, some Bermuda uh, I think I'm gonna do TIFF uh, 419 on that and uh, I'll shoot some video of that process and uh, what that looks like so uh, lots more yard work I, I know I've been doing a lot of lawn mowing uh, videos um, I've been busy building decks and leveling and uh, all sorts of uh, uh, lawn furniture and all that kind of stuff that's been going on so we'll get some more videos uh, mowing the lawn as well and and uh, get you an update on the Garwin uh, grip on the trimmer which I'm absolutely loving um, it has definitely it takes it took me probably two um, two or three uses with it to really fully um, just understand how nice it is it's almost like my my head of my trimmer is now floating so we'll do an update on that and uh, I think that's about it I hope you guys are enjoying um, your your weekend today is Mother's Day for uh, for me so getting everything ready for the wife to come home she's overseeing her mom and uh, we're gonna spend the day out in the backyard so uh, cheers I hope everyone I'm drinking coffee this morning no tiny yetis but uh, coffee nonetheless and uh, as my shirt says, uh, go yard.